sure, you can absolutely use the new Mac Studio for music production. So if that was the only thing you wanted to know, just take out your credit card and go to the Apple Store and buy it and you will get a Mac desktop now with ports. As for performance and numbers, I am getting to that a little later in this video, so stick to the end for my thoughts about the Mac Studio Relay in relation to music production. And although I don't have the computer here, I have benchmarks from Logic Pro using my M1 laptop here and uh, we can try to compare them with the specifications uh, on the Mac Studio and that way we can see if the Mac Studio is something you should go for or maybe you should save your money and get something cheaper like perhaps the Mac Mini which also come with an M-based CPU. I'm going to play a clip from uh, one of my earlier videos where I just show off a Logic Pro session on this uh, laptop and we can try to compare it to the uh, Mac Studio. So a little bit about the specification uh, the Mac Studio is a new desktop Mac Apple just released and uh, it uh, looks just like a, a little bigger Mac Mini if you will. Specification wise they have two main roads you can go based on what type of CPU you are going for. The first uh, cheaper selection is based on the M1 Max. Uh, chip with a 10 core CPU. That's the same CPU you can configure the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro with. The second option is based on an entirely new CPU Apple are calling the M1 Ultra and this is basically two M1 Max chips glued together into one package basically doubling the total core count from 10 to 20 cores with a higher memory band with up to 800 gigabits per second and up to 128 gigabytes of memory on the M1 Ultra based model and you can have up to 8 terabytes of internal storage I think it's 7400 megabytes per second SSD storage on both models so it's really fast but you have to know that the Mac Studio is not upgradable so you get what you buy and uh, that's it however with Apple's renewed interest in giving their customer <laughs> ports again more uh, super fast storage can be added using external devices such as this uh, SSD or M2 SSD enclosure here or external drives you can connect to the USB-C uh, slash uh, Thunderbolt uh, ports so for ports then on the Mac Studio you get four Thunderbolt 4 ports with support for DisplayPort, USB 4, USB 3.1 Gen 2, HDMI port and you get a 10 gigabit Ethernet port and a uh, 3.5 millimeter high impedance port for uh, usable for studio headsets for example with uh, like those headsets with a higher ohm uh, like 200 or 180 I think uh, like this one, this is 80 ohms and um, you can get this with a higher impedance and that will be no problem uh, driving uh, of the uh, Mac Studio. And on the front you get an SD card reader, you get two USB-C ports on the cheaper M1 Max model and you get uh, two Thunderbolt 4 ports on the front if you go for the M1. Uh, ultra model. So then the question is how much computer do you really need? Do you really need this type of performance? I get questions and comments all the time where you guys you're asking if this and that CPU is good for music production. Is that Mac good for music production? I understand why you're asking because there are so many choices out there but the, I'm sorry but the boring answer is it depends on what type of workload you're planning to do. You don't necessarily have to buy a new computer. I mean uh, uh, perhaps you, your workflow is not that advanced so you can perhaps uh, go on the used market and uh, buy a used computer instead. Uh, I don't want to recommend people going to buy the highest end computer. Even it's fun, I know it's fun, I want to do that because it's fun, I don't need it. But I just want this video to be a little bit about, you have to think about what you need compared to what you want. If you have an audio interface, if you have a microphone, a guitar, you, uh, you just want to record your vocals, uh, maybe lay down a few guitar tracks, perhaps a few software synthesizer tracks, maybe a bass or synth somewhere. You don't need a top spec Mac Studio for that type of work. The Mac Mini or a MacBook Air with the M chip is more than enough for that type of workflow. A few tracks, a few mastering plugins, that's no problem for almost any type of Mac on sale today. Or I, I actually say 
any type of Mac on sale today. You can even do that on an iPad nowadays. So I just want to get that out of the way because many people believe that they need a lot of expensive gear to get started with music production and no, you don't need that. Actually one of my most popular videos on this channel is where I try Logic Pro X on a 10 year old MacBook and I had to hack Mac OS to even get it to install. It could still play back a basic track without issues, no, I, I wouldn't use that for anything today but uh, it was just a fun thing to show what's possible. So, but the Mac Studio is a powerhouse if you have software that's optimized for it. So even the entry uh, level model will be able to handle complicated projects with a lot of tracks without issues. Again, depending on what type of plugins you use and how demanding those plugins are. However, since this is still a new ish CPU architecture, you have to make sure that the plugins you use are updated so they take, can take advantage of the performance of the M CPUs bring to the table. So you have to go to the website for the manufacturer and you have to check there to see if the software is up to date. So obviously all software you get with Apple is up to date and optimized and all plugins in Logic Pro X that ship with Logic Pro X like Alchemy and all of the internal instruments they are up to date are able to take advantage of the M chip. So if you only use that and I know that a lot of people only use Logic. If you just buy a Mac and you just buy Logic, you actually have everything you need to start creating music. If you go for that route, then you're good to go. The latest version of Ableton Live is also up to date and able to utilize the M-based chips. However, again, you have to make sure the third-party plugins you use are up to date as well. If not, they will go through this emulation layer called Rosetta 2, and that will give you a performance hit although it will still probably work, but the performance will be a little bit slower. To give you some context, I can show you a clip from a video where I was testing the 13-inch M1 MacBook Pro here in Logic Pro X. I'm using the Serum synthesizer with quite a demanding patch with unison and several oscillators. Then I copied that 80 times, and that was the limit of the first version of the M1 chip based MacBook Pro released in 2020 with 16 gigabytes of uh, memory. Now I know this is not a uh, realistic project and I actually have plans to maybe make a more realistic project with more uh, different type of uh, plugins and uh, synthesizers and just see how everything works together and just to duplicate, duplicate that but that's not uh, something I've done yet. So based on that result, we can safely assume that the performance of the Mac Studio will be a lot faster than what you see here. And what you see here is still extremely good and uh, you can get a long way with, uh, with the entry level M chip as well. So we will be able to get great performance from an M based Mac mini and that's a lot cheaper than going full on with a Mac Studio. But if you need the performance, I think you know that already. And I think you also realize that if you get the Mac Studio and the optimized software, I think we will see some uh, pretty amazing uh, performance numbers. At least if you check the Apple website, it even is able to beat the uh, high-end Mac Pro in certain things as well. And Apple also hinted in their keynote that they are working on something with the Mac Pro. So if you you want even more performance I would probably wait a little bit and see if uh, Apple release something else with the Mac Pro that should be interesting unfortunately I have no way of actually testing the Mac Studio myself other than paying for it and that's probably not going to happen unless this video gets a million views then maybe I can use some of the ad money to <laughs> buy one or test but uh, until then, you can help out by uh, liking the video and sharing it with others. That always helps. And what are you using for your studio production work? Are you using a Mac? Are you using a PC? Are you planning to buy the Mac Studio? Or is the Mac Mini enough, perhaps? Or are you going the PC route with Windows that uh, I am currently doing? So let me know in the comments below. And uh, I think that's all for today. Have a great day and uh, I will see you in the next one. And check out the other videos that come up here if you will as well. Okay, bye bye.